uh, once she has finished um, uh, handing out uh, little carved wooden goblets uh, with some clear liquid to the um, uh, uh, scurvy looking pirates who are, are currently down in Greece. Oh, there, there um, are some pirates here. Uh, she will happily talk to you. Now, I'll, I'll point, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll look mm -hmm. over at uh, Geiger and go, oh, look. You have very... You can tell they're pirates because they've got because they've got eye patches and things like that, whether they're actually rats. See. Uh, but um, if you'd like to talk to the Gren who introduces... I do. Is it the Gren who introduces herself? Um, I don't. I will. Uh, in, I, don't I will. I will propose uh, an exchange. Let's say she's called. After after I may have a taste of a sample, and if I like it, then I'll be very interested in unloading this valuable keelboat for a mere single jug of. <clears throat> okay, that sounds like um, a deal. She might well be interested in. She does have um, a carl uh, sort of dugout canoe looking thing behind her, but. Um, a keelboat could certainly be something she'd be interested in. Um, uh, handcrafted. The chisels were handmade. So, um, yes, uh, she uh, definitely keeps, she basically almost thrust a goblet into your hand um, uh, if you want to try it. I wanted uh, a sip so first. Safe. What what are we talking about here? Okay. Um, uh, so um, it is. Uh, she's explaining that it's fermented from um, cactuses in the spine forest to the north. Um, so let's go back to Keela. Good start. Um, oh yeah, good start. As far as I'm I don't know what. Uh, I'm not sure how, uh, what effect this will have on a uh, living statue. So that would be oh, I'm. Um, I I think I'm pretty much the same as anybody else as far as all that stuff is concerned. Um, the uh, the thing I'm interested in mm -hmm. concerns one of my origins, which is exploding, and I'm just very mm -hmm. interested in whether this might be uh, a useful amount of material to have internally at some point so uh so anyway yes is it is it high in Sorry. flammable is it flammable um i'm not gonna make you roll for that one it's highly you uh, as soon as you taste it you can tell this would be highly flammable. beautiful i want that joke that's my joke that's and Ron, don't um, smoke anything um, especially the weird weeds because you'll be still so. <laughs> the the yeah. good news is, um, the good news is she can't sell you a jug because she's got these little casks that are very nicely carved things and, and put together things. Um, they're slightly bigger than a jug, and um, uh, in exchange for a keelboat, uh, she literally almost almost literally forces it into your hands while uh, while uh, uh, pointing and explaining exactly where she wants you to put and tie up the boat. Perfect, perfect. Um, if she thinks it's a good deal, so do I. She thinks this is that a great deal. That so. thing was just taking up space. So. So you definitely now have a cask of... Um, uh, what I'm going to call this. Nameless, um, nameless Gren Liqueur. Fantastic. Okay. Indeed. I will parlay with the pirates. <laughs> okay, that seems like a thing you can do. Um, uh, they are uh, um, uh, as I say, you're getting into the uh, the, the cactus juice um, in a uh, a big way. As I say, they're identifiable as pirates mainly by having eye patches and um, other nautical looking accoutrements. Um, none of them have a peg leg or anything like that, I'm afraid. So, but Thank God for oh. small favors. Um, some of them are definitely somewhat, some of them are somewhat rat looking though. Uh, some of them are, some, one of them is human, um, some of the others are uh, human ish. Um, uh, what, uh, but one of them definitely, one of them in particular is quite rat looking. Would you like to um, uh, 
and clear my throat in doing so, and I have the book in my hands. I almost look like I want an autograph from them, but that's not the thing. Uh, excuse me, dear uh, gentle rodents, because I don't think that gentlemen would be an appropriate way to address them. Uh, okay, do you want to roll an interaction roll now and then see how well this goes and therefore? Um, With pleasure, yeah. I'm holding my charisma. Interaction. Well, I have a solid seven. That's good. Not really, but oh, seven plus. And a total of 15. 15, that's okay, that beats a lot. So, yep, that's a, a success. So, yes, um, uh, clearly the. Um, uh, the pyrax are, are merry and um, uh, li well lubricated, and so are happy to, to chat to you as you um, uh, interact with them. Uh, what specifically do you want to know? I, I, I gathered you were shown your coloring book. Yes, absolutely. Science rats in it, or science mice. Any of you gentle rodents know what this book is about? I found it when I woke up one day. I don't. I want mention my origins that easily, I guess. And uh, I've been okay. puzzled since then. I would very much like to know if any of you know anything about it. Uh, so the Pyrat, uh, he's having a look at it, uh, lifts up his eye patch to get a bit of view. Um, I knew it. <laughs> Uh, sniffs at it because he's a rat. Um, long twitchy whiskers sort of thing going on. Um, but uh, he is um, uh, uh, he's, he's, he's starting to say he doesn't really know anything about this sort of thing. It all looks a bit um, uh, land lubbery. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and you know, there's, there's uh, obviously starts to go off on one about all the various ports they've been to. He's never really seen any, any uh, things like this. Although um, uh, he does uh, then realise uh, he can point you towards one of the other stalls where the local scavengers are selling things from the local um, uh, um, what's the word uh, local area where they pull stuff out of the ruins and things like that. He says he saw, he saw something over there that looked a bit familiar and a bit similar to years earlier. Um, he doesn't, though, seem particularly... Um, he asked a couple of questions about what these, rat, what these rats are doing in his pictures, but he doesn't seem uh, himself to understand it particularly. As I say, he does point you elsewhere <clears throat> where maybe there would be... Um, uh, He's been he's been shopping already, picking over other people's stalls. You get the impression that perhaps they are uh, uh, extracting protection taxes from some of the other stall holders, uh, and maybe he saw something oh, similar right. at one of the other stalls. Um, so they are pirate mafia rats. They're providing a valuable service, protecting the market. Um, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I would never dare to question that. They are also offer you a drink uh, to join them for a drink if you're uh, if you're if you're wanting to. That's, uh... Oh, I would be very honoured, and uh, of course I accept. But I warn them that they should then discard the vessel or the goblet that they offer me because the radioactive decay tends to take some time. There's a noticeable shifting away from it. But, <laughs> right. um, oh. <laughs> right. no. uh, tell, uh, tell us, has Guy get ever had uh, alcohol uh, before? Sorry? Has Guy get had alcohol before? Uh, what does I think she make uh, of... Um, this this uh, uh, tasty, in inverted commas, fermented pack. 
Well, I think she never had alcohol before because that is the, the more funny option and therefore is quite easily intoxicated. But I think it would be for a short moment. I hate myself. The alcohol decays. He's looking up a rule. We're in trouble. I'm a hor- I, I have a horrible suspicion that there are at some point rules for a possible intoxication, but I cannot remember if there are, and I'm not going to look it up. Um, <clears throat> and it, would, it wouldn't be in Gamma World anyway. So. Uh, as you pointed out, she is highly radioactive and therefore able to burn off alcohol easily. If, um, so I'm not going to try and apply any extensive penalties to you for going on with score, uh, getting drunk with Pyrax, unless you particularly want me to do so. Um, We're close enough to pick her up and put her somewhere where she can't do anything. Well, really not only that, bad. but uh, yeah, it's... I think I, I get the impression that Gaga can look after herself. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Oh so, yeah. Next. But what is uh, Laker doing while we are um, while this has been going on? So far, just Ooh. observing. Oh well, well, in that case, make a perception roll. <laughs> Aha, you thought you could just not do anything. I just cannot do not anything because that's a five. Okay. Uh, I mean, there are you know, various people milling around. Uh, did I mention? I mentioned them the night. Uh, uh, you notice um, another hoop, uh, again, wearing a uniform. This one is a, um, a sort of uh, slightly greeny, pinky uh, color of um, uh, uh, sort of, you know, sort of suit like uniforms. And he's setting up a store where he's selling various uh, bits of military hardware and, and possibly even ammo, if anyone's interested in that. But uh, yes, you, don't spot, yes, you don't spot anything ter- uh, terribly exciting. I mean, there are very, I'd say, people hanging around, people uh, of various types of uh, yeah. Um, but you don't, uh, you don't see uh, the thing I'm actually making the wrong perception checks for. So uh, I'm going to point Geiger to this uh, ammo shop. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing like a pink button. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Um, so, uh, you can certainly go over to look at the ammo shop if you want, Gaiga. Um, I will, yes. I can offer some the, part. Now that I've the, got a little time to think, I think I'm going to yeah. scrutinize that building up on the hill. Cool, cool, cool. Because that seems weird and... Ominous. Yeah, weird and significant. And everybody's treating it like it's normal. I mean, it's obviously been there a long time. Unlike the rabbit oh, sculpture. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, roll a um, roll a uh, perception check to look up there and learn things about it. Um, Ooh, that's a little bit better. I roll only a mere 12, but it's not a crap roll. It's a mere 12. 12, that tells you loads of stuff. So, as I said... Um, Yeah, I just I don't know if that was sharp on my picture there is a camera no. it looks a bit like that as I said octagonal um, it's made of um, uh, must be made of iron because it's sort of metal uh, dark metal that's survived maybe slightly rusted but otherwise intact since the uh, since it must be pre apocalyptic pre cataclysmic um, uh, some of it, and not to train in my picture, uh, is actually quite nice, um, sort of uh, curvy, scrolly bits of um, uh, metal work. Um, uh, there's, um, as I say, action taking place around it, people uh, uh, decorating some of the columns and things like that. And, uh, 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 sweeping out all the detritus that builds up around it. 